Knowing that many of you may be missing Wofford right now, we thought it might be nice to create a guided imagery exercise that puts you back on campus. Guided imagery exercises are imaginal exercises, and there's no right way to do them. You just listen and allow your mind to create the pictures and sensations. You might connect more deeply with certain places and images. That's just fine. Allow whatever happens to happen. The intent of this exercise is to help you feel more relaxed. If you aren't missing Wofford, then this might not be the exercise for you. We'd suggest that you try one of the other exercises that we will be posting later. So now, find a comfortable place where you can sit or lie down and be fully supported. Allow your body to begin to relax, taking a few deep breaths as you sit in this place. Let's begin by imagining yourself at the front gates of the college, at this place on the city's northern border. Perhaps you hear the sounds of a few cars passing by. You can see the signs at the front gate. You may choose to run your finger over the raised letters. Founded, 1854. Remembering that you are and will continue to be a part of a long-standing community, even when you are no longer on campus. Smell the fresh cut grass and hear the sounds of the birds chirping as you start to walk towards the fountain. Take a few moments to stand near the fountain and listen to the sounds the water makes as it pushes up towards the sky and falls back down, hitting the pool below. Maybe you notice that a breeze carries the fine spray of the water towards you, allowing you to feel it on your skin. Look down and notice the bottom of the fountain and how the water shimmers over top. Begin your walk now towards Olin. Maybe you follow the sidewalk or perhaps you choose to walk on the grass. Notice the feeling of the path under your feet, the soft lush feeling of the grass or the firm sturdy assurance of the sidewalk. Once you reach Olin, turn to your right and begin to walk down the sidewalk with the row of trees on either side. They filled in nicely. Notice how full and green the canopy above you is. As you walk under them, you step into the shade and feel the temperature drop ever so slightly. Look up to see how the leaves of the trees create a beautiful tunnel for you to walk through. Keep walking. You can see the back of the main building up ahead. On your left, you see the horseshoe, green and open space. It's a perfect place to sit, letting the sun warm your skin. Maybe you're there with a blanket and book. You're resting. Or maybe you take a moment to run around in the open space as you might have done when you were a kid. Take some time here, making the most of that space. When you are ready to resume your walk, look up at the back of the main building and see the stairs leading to Leonard Auditorium. Notice the seal on the sidewalk. Read those words to yourself. Continue walking past Dupree, down the hill, seeing the back of the library on your right and campus life just up ahead. Stop out in front. Here's the terrier statue and today's quarantine sign from Dean Bigger. Maybe you reach out and touch the terrier, feeling the hard metal warmed by the sun under your fingertips. Turn to your right and walk up the incline up beside the library until you reach Campus Drive. When you look to your left, you see the quiet buildings waiting for the return of students. There's even a new building for you to take in. But now you choose to turn to your right and pass by the library. The big windows are quiet. You continue walking on the sidewalk, passing Daniel on your left.
Finally, you're in front of Old Main, standing on the seal at the heart of campus, looking at the steps to the place where so many things happen. You take a few moments and find a step to sit down on. From there, you look out on the art building in Milliken. You can see the sunlight reflecting off the windows of those buildings as you feel the breeze on your skin. The sun warms your face as you take in the sights, smells, and sounds of campus. Campus is so quiet, and yet there is actually a lot to hear. Birds chirping, the rattle of leaves and branches, as those Wofford squirrels do what they do. Maybe wondering where their human companions have gone. In the distance, you hear the sounds of hammers and shouts as workers continue to create new spaces for future members of our community. Feel these stones beneath your hands and body, knowing that you have walked these steps and will get to again, just like the people who came before you did and future students will one day as well. Feel the connection to this place and this community, even when you are far from it. Know that you miss it and it misses you. Hold this place in your heart, knowing it is yours and you can return, if only in your mind, whenever you choose.